What's up guys, so back with another video. As I said, you know, I tend to get various samples of tempered glass due to the nature of the work I do. This one's by GPEL that a few people have been talking about. And I wanted to check it out also to sh show you guys the differences and whatnot. All right, so let's unbox this and take a look. Pretty good packaging, I, I will admit, for the price. Um, 3D glass, which basically means it's going to curve. High definition, meaning you're going to see through it. Bubble-free installation, it's 9H, it's got the coating. All right, so let's open this up. Right, so we got some more crazy packaging here. Alright, how do we actually get... Ah, I see. Slides open. Gonna get instructions here. You guys can pause if you want to see here. I think everybody knows how to install a glass screen protector by now. Alright, so... File all this over there. Okay, so we're brought back with the wipes, lens wipe, dust remover, and the actual screen protector. Alright. They sent me gold, you know, because I got a gold phone and all. There it is, back in the front. All right, so let's go about doing this. We got the alcohol. We got the alcohol wipe here. Give it a good rinse over. I had I had the tempered armor one on here before. Took it off so I could put this guy on. Just to see if there really is any difference of any kind. It's just a direct copy of ours. But, as they say, you never know until you try, right? All right, we're going to get this nice microfiber. We're going to try to do this a perfect install. I got, I got two pieces. Hoping we can get through the testing portion on the first piece. All right, let's give this a quick look. My might go off camera. All right, looks looks pretty clean. Now for the installation process, yeah, this is very this is very simple. Literally just pull back tab. You can hear the noise. Put the phone on its side. And you're just going to line up You're just going to line it up and you're going to drop it Probably going to go off camera a little bit I'm trying to get a good good install here Alright, there we go Now we're going to give it a good press in the center I'm going to get it to go to all edges And there we go all right, she's on. Fingerprint is a go. So touch is a go. Seems to work. Clarity-wise, it seems pretty clear, but, you know, just like, I can feel it pulling. Just like any other one on the sides. I can feel it. All right, now we're going to do the ultimate test that people have been asking me about. We're going to try cases. We got two cases here. We got the UAG, we're gonna leave that for the end because this one's known to rip anyone up. And we got a poetic one. All right, so let's do the poetic one first. I'm gonna to try to do this gently. All right, so poetic installed and now you can hear it, and that edge, it's pulling up. Actually, yeah, it's completely, it's completely pulled up. So right now it's installed, but it is pulling up. Let's check for usability. It seems to still be usable, but I mean, you can hear where the noise is and went up. So it's really not holding. Alright, so let's take this off. 
All right, let's go for the let's go for the number one killer, which is typically the UAG. It's just because they made, and these edges typically will just rip anything up. I'm gonna try to go in top first. So normally the bottom is where the actual issue is. Oop, did we crack it already? No. All right, we're just going under it. All right, so, same, I'm trying to be really gentle here. All right, so it made it, made it into the UAG case. Again, everything seems to be working here. But, you know, again, you know, you gotta, I don't know if you can hear it, it's pulled up on pretty much every edge. So yeah, I mean, it's basically the, it's basically the same thing as I said, this is just, just a copy. I don't know if I wanna call it a copy. Um, it's more of a basically working on the same thing and just coming up with the same stuff. But yeah, I mean, this will these screen protectors will get get you by. I do recommend using it if you're going to use these. I do recommend doing it caseless. I mean, number one, it looks, in my opinion, ten times better caseless. Plus, you know, if you honestly want this to stay down, you don't want it to break because you're going to be sliding this in and out in your pockets. And with a case on, you're apt to break the edges simply because of it. You know, it's constantly going up and going down and you're pushing it down. The only reason why you don't see a bubble is because of the color. If this was clear, you would see bubbles all over the place. Anyway, guys, I've just tried to give this a little bit of an explanation to you guys so you could understand. All right, I hope I'm not trying to bash anybody or anything like that. So I'm not trying to troll. I'm just showing you guys the differences and how it's all the same. All right, guys. So if you like this video and you found it informative, please leave, please leave me a thumbs up. I am going to leave a link to this product down below. If you want to give it a try and grab it, you know, by all means. I'm going to link our product down below as well, which you saw in another video. I'm, even going to show, I'm also going to link that video down below. I know this is a little long. All right, guys. So again... Drop those likes. Trying to get some videos out here for you guys. Around people, give me some thumbs up. Slam that, slam that like button for me. All right, guys. See you in the next one.